Calma. Calma. Krishna Vajis Kanku Juna Naga Nana Yis Kan Yis Kan Yis Kanku Juna Naga Nana Krishna Vajis Kanku Juna Naga Nana Shikon Jun Shikon Jun Yis Kanku Juna Naga Nana Yis Kan Yis Kan Yis Kan Ayma Shikon Jun Yis Okay, Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you for that Apache hymn. Thank you. Now, Kawa. Hey, girl, the dog, yeah, he on high, yeah, dog, me on a moon, me on high, yeah, dog, me. Beg your home to dog, ya he da on a moon tome on high your dog, on high your dog, on high your dome. Beg your home to dog, ya he on high your dome on a moon tome on high your dog. Beg your home to dog, ya he dog on a moon tome on high your dog on high your dog on high your dome. Beg your home to dog, ya he on high your dome on a moon tome on high your dome. Ah ho! Amen. Amen. Ponka, the Ponkas, 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 oh, all right, all right, Ponkas. How about Comanche? Pastor, this is Linda. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Ana Jesus waka narami. Ana una pimana kosen. Ana una bisi naksuna. Ana una pimana kosen. Ana nakosen papina tasuna pamana kosen. Ta apana wada. A pimana na na ko sen, ana Jesus waka na da mi, ana u na pimana ko sen, ana u na bisi na ksu na, ana u na pimana ko sen, ana na ko sen na papina. Ta suana pamana kosen, ta apana wada, a pimana na kosen. Are you washed in the blood, in the soul cleansing blood of the Lamb? Yes. Are your garments spotless, are they white as snow? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Amen. 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 Creek. Creek. Okay. All right. Um, I don't know how to say this word. Uh, so, Adi, come to me, Santa, just as I am without one plea. Okay. Uh, so, Adi, Chaki, Chaki. Teacher, the, uh, 
Choctaw, you have to unmute yourself. Aba Pichi Toka Kaya Oele Kostinete Epe Maha Chipolaka Ehoha Klo Polaski Atakesha Bapiyat Pinji Sasat Chokmaka Eleno Laila Cho Anopile Kepisa Yo show Bapi Yekaocha Ayopolo Kafina Echokoa Hoseona Pinokaklo Tokoki Atagosha Bapiyat Pinjis Astat Chokmakat Ilinoki Laila Cho Anofile Kipisa Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you all for sharing with us what God has given you in word and in song. Amen. Amen. Now for our offering, tithes and gifts, we have a wonderful opportunity to continue in worship that we will receive now our offering, tithes and gifts. We are thankful that this church uh, is receiving such God's favor through your continual tithes, gifts, and offering. You may mail in your tithes, gifts, and offering as you have been doing. Um, for those who have not, here's the, new, here's the address. Um, 1203 Hollywood Avenue, Dallas, Texas, 75208 is the zip code. Or address to 311 Oakwood Drive, Duncanville, Texas, 75137. And if you have Zelle or the Zelle option uh, application, you may send in your donations, your tithes, gifts, and offerings uh, to this number, 469-226-5257. Now let us receive our offerings, tithes, and gifts.
Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise him, all creatures here below. Praise him above the heavenly host. Praise God, the Son and Holy Ghost. Amen. 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 I hope everybody can hear me this morning as I uh, bring you some thoughts on the children's sermon at this morning. So I want to welcome all the children of all ages. This morning, I want to tell you something about the weather. You've heard that people complain. That people complain about the weather, but nobody does anything about it. <clears throat> Not long ago, um, I was watching the news and the weather on TV, and the weatherman was talking about a great visit that he made to one of the great schools for the little children, and they began to ask him all kinds of questions about the weather. They wanted to know about the thunder, and they wanted to know about the lightning, the tornadoes, and all different things. And he was try, did his best to try to answer those questions so that the little children could understand. <clears throat> I uh, have heard people ask, can animals predict the weather? Well, I kind of researched it a little bit. This may be just something the folklore uh, says. We don't know for sure. But anyway, I looked at this, and this is, something that I have found. So children, pay attention. One of the things is that um, when the cattle, when the cattle lie down out in the pasture, it indicates it's going to be an early rain. When horses and cattle stretch out their necks way out there and sniff the air, it's going to rain. Wolves. Always howl more before a storm. And here's my favorite one. It's about the woolly bear caterpillar. It is said that they can predict the weather, the winter weather. The woolly bear caterpillar, also called woolly, <coughs> woolly worm, uh, has the reputation of being able to forecast the coming winter weather. Well, it's just about that time, I guess. Pretty good. We'll, uh, we'll have to look for this woolly worm. Whether this um, whether the uh, this fact is folklore, we don't know for sure. But anyway, here's the legend. The woolly bear caterpillar has 13 distinct segments of either rusty brown or black, the woolly on the, on the worm. The water, the rusty brown section on the worm means that there is going to be a mild winter coming. But if there's more black woolly hair on the, uh, uh, on the worm, you can expect a severe weather uh, for the year. Well, really nobody can predict the weather as to who can control it. In the scripture we find in the, um, uh, in the gospel according to um, Luke, where Jesus and his disciples get in the boat and go out into the river or to the lake, and uh, uh, Jesus was very tired, so he lay down and was taking a nap. And the other disciples were just enjoying the, the, the calmness of the water. When all of a sudden the storm arose, 
and the wind was blowing, and water was filling the boat, and the disciples were afraid. And they just didn't know what to do, so they called the Lord, woke him up. And when he woke up, I, I just have to personally um, see him. As he looked at the disciples, he probably smiled at him. Maybe shook his head a little bit. And he said, you don't have any faith. And then he turned around and told the storm to stop. He ordered the wind to stop. And everything was really calm. And one of the disciples said, he can give orders to the wind and the waves, and they obey him. We have a great God. He controls everything. He created everything. The rain, he can send the rain. He can send the snow. He can send the sunlight or the clouds. He, he has control of everything. Well, I... Uh, uh, Feel that yes, this is very. Even though the weathermen can predict a lot of things with all their scientific uh, information that they have, but God is in control of everything. Yes, when He says it's going to rain, it will rain. When He says it's going to be clouds, there will be clouds. When there will be sun, there will be sun. Yes, God created everything. I'm going to conclude here with a prayer, but before I do, let me tell you that next time, I'm going to tell you what it means when someone says, hey, it's raining cats and dogs out there. One the, I'll tell you about that uh, maybe next time. So let me close with this prayer. Each day we see before us, Lord God, good reason for thanksgiving. Thank you for helping us find the happiness of quiet, simple things, for the contentment that comes from looking at a pot of flowers on a windowsill, at the light of an open fire, at the color of splendor across the evening sky. Thank you, God, for you are the great creator, and you, Lord, control everything. We pray this in the inner joy of Jesus, Jesus knew, and in his name we pray. Amen. 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 It's going to be hot today, by the way. <clears throat> <laughs>